Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we've got 10 startling pictures of environmental devastation. Number 10. Beijing, China One thing that is pretty well known about Beijing, China is that the air quality can be terrible at times. But exactly how bad is it? If the picture here isn't enough of an indication, in 2013 the Chinese government initiated a red alert warning system that is to be used if the air quality gets too bad. On those days, people are encouraged to stay indoors, the use of cars is severely limited, and outdoor construction is stopped. It was used for the first time in 2015, when there were several days in a row when the air quality was that poor. Number 9. The Deepwater Horizon Oil Spill on April 20, 2010, there was an explosion at the Deepwater Horizon oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico, 41 miles off the coast of Louisiana. The explosion caused the rig to sink, leading to the deaths of 11 people. A further 17 were hurt. The explosion was also the start of the biggest oil spill in American history. Over the next 87 days, an estimated equivalent of 3.19 million barrels of oil were dumped into the Gulf, covering 1,313 miles of coastline. In the picture here, you can see just some of the oil that was spilled out. Number 8. The Pacific Garbage Patch Things have gotten so bad that there are now islands made of garbage. Myths that surround the patch suggest that it's the size of Texas, if not bigger. However, officials say that it's not one big patch and that the name is a bit misleading. Instead, it's multiple small patches, because obviously that's much better, right? Also, there are two different patches. One is the West Garbage Patch, which is near Japan, and the Eastern Garbage Patch, which is between Hawaii and California. The Garbage Islands are the result of the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre, which is made up of four currents that move in a clockwise direction. The center of the gyre is stable, so the currents around it push debris into the center, creating the garbage patches. As where it comes from, 80% is from land-based activities in North America and Asia. Number 7. India Water Pollution this child is swimming in one of the bodies of water in India. Clearly the water is dirty because the child is swimming near floating debris. Sadly, the water is much dirtier than just some debris. About 80% of all the sewage in India is dumped back into the rivers, completely untreated. The problem is widespread, too. Out of 8,000 towns, only 160 had sewer systems and sewer treatment plants. And you're probably thinking, geez, India's got a lot of people, right? How much sewage is going into that water? According to a study from 2011, 40 billion liters of sewage is dumped into the rivers every single day. Compounding the problem is that India has very lax, sometimes non-existent, environmental laws, so pollution from factories is also dumped into the water. Number 6. The World's Biggest Tire Pile Near Kuwait City, Kuwait is the largest tire landfill in the world. In fact, it's so big that it is also one of the largest landfills of any kind in the world. Four companies are responsible for dumping the 7 million tires there, and the graveyard continues to grow. It's so big that it can be seen from space. Of course, one concern is fires. If there is any place that one shouldn't start, it's a tire graveyard, right? Well, the problem is that tire piles tend to cause a buildup of methane gas, so fires are actually a pretty common occurrence in tire yards like this one. Number 5. The Al Mishraq Sulfur Fire the al Mishraq Sulfur State Company was a sulfur plant that was located in Iraq. On June 24, 2003, a fire broke out at the plant. It's unclear if it was an act of sabotage or merely a tragic accident. Nevertheless, it was utterly devastating to the environment. On average, the fire produced about 21,000 tons of sulfur dioxide per day. Just for some perspective, that is about half of America's daily emissions from gas. The fire lasted for a month, and by the end it put more poisonous sulfur dioxide into the ecosystem than most volcanic eruptions. Number 4. Chaohu Lake in China This photo was taken at Chaohu Lake, which is China's fifth largest freshwater lake and also one of the most polluted lakes in the world. The water looks like neon paint because of an incredibly dangerous alga, which is a result of increased levels of nitrogen and phosphorus from sewage that is dumped into the lake. The algae are dangerous because it sucks oxygen out of the water, killing a lot of the lake's fish in the process. This is a huge problem because the fish population has dwindled, but the human population in the area is growing, and fish is what feeds many of these people. Number 3. Borneo Pygmy Elephants Pygmy elephants are smaller and gentler than their cousins, the Asian elephant. They are distinctive simply because of how cute they are. They are also endangered. The World Wildlife Foundation believes there are fewer than 1,500 left. What makes this picture of a three-month-old baby trying to rouse his dead mother even more tragic is that it wasn't just one elephant that died. This was one of 40 pygmy elephants that were killed in January 2013 in a Malaysian forest over the span of three weeks. 
This is nearly 1% of the entire population. The cause of death was most likely poisoning, but it's unclear if it was the result of pollution or if it was purposeful. While they may be cute, they are considered pests by workers who harvest palm oil. There is evidence that, as of early 2009, workers were leaving out poison for them. Number 2. The Aral Sea The reason the boat is here on the cracked, dried ground is because the sea it once floated on is nearly gone. The Aral Sea is located between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in Central Asia. At one time, the Aral Sea, which is actually a lake, was the fourth largest freshwater lake in the world. At its peak, it had a surface area of 26,000 square miles. The damage started in the 1950s, when two of the area's major rivers that fed into the lake were diverted for irrigation for cotton production by the Soviet government. Between 1960 and 1996, the sea levels dropped by 52 feet. In 2014, for the first time in 600 years, the Aral's basin was dry. Number 1. Peanut the Turtle Sometime in the 1980s, Peanut, a baby red-eared slider turtle, was swimming in a river in Missouri and became entangled in the ring of a six-pack holder. As she grew, the ring didn't allow Peanut's shell to grow properly, and instead of a dome, her shell was in the shape of an hourglass, or as her name would indicate, a peanut shell. This left Peanut vulnerable because a turtle's ability to hide inside its shell is its main defense. Luckily for Peanut, someone found her and cut the ring off. Amazingly, Peanut is still alive. She is used by the Missouri Department of Conservation as a symbol for why people shouldn't litter, and is the mascot of their No More Trash campaign. While it may have worked out for Peanut in the end, it very well could have gone differently. She is a stark reminder of how a second of laziness and mindlessness can have devastating effects on other innocent things. So I won't ask whether you enjoyed that video, but if you did find it interesting and informative, please click that thumbs up button below this video. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this every day of the week. And check out some of our other videos that are over there on the right. We've got the top 10 most devastating fires, and below that we've got the top 10 horrifying acts of chemical warfare and gas attacks. So check those out, be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.